And now back to the newlywed game. Oh, Carol, how did Nick answer the following? The last thing I would ever give my wife is blank. A little spending money? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Nick actually said the antidote. Nick, what are you talking about? Oh, Maggie, you were right. <laughs> Oh, my God! A genie! I am here to grant you three wishes. Peter, three wishes? Oh, this is so exciting! I want a new hat! I want a new hat! I want them to have new hats! Kids, these are your father's wishes. Go ahead, honey, get whatever you want. Oh, that's easy. I wish I could see what Kelly Ripper was like off the set. So it shall be. Great show today, Kelly. Thanks, Reed. You too. <laughs> Hey, Kelly, Gelman needs us on stage for a couple of reshoots. Be right there, Reg. I just have to put on my face. My goodness, did you see the size of that dressing room? Yes, they must really want to keep it. Your second wish? Oh, I got just a thing. I wish I had my own theme music. Done. Well, I don't hear anything. Get up, try it out. Buddy, want to turn that stuff down? Oh, come on, pal. That's classic traveling music, huh? Try to enjoy it. Riding on a bus, riding on a bus, sitting next to bombs, gas an open seat, hope that isn't pee. Yeah, well, I'm sick of hearing it. Look, I'm sorry, buddy. I can't turn it off. Well, then, I'm going to break every bone in your body. I wish I had no bones. Done. Ah! That ought to show you. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. I got a fart but I don't know which way to lean. Okay, now, now I know you guys might be a little concerned about me not having bones and all, but uh, I, I gotta tell you, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's just like Silly Putty. Look what I can do to Mary Worth's smug sense of self-satisfaction. <laughs> That's right, son. Take her down a peg. Well, I guess we could all adjust to this. Look, I'm making an angel. See, Lois, everything's gonna be fine. Now smile while I write my name in you. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> but, Mom, I've got to use the bathroom now. Well, I'm sorry, but your father gets incredibly filthy rolling around everywhere. He just has to take his 12 baths a day. I don't like Dad anymore. I invited some friends over to jump on him like a trampoline, but his roll of fat sucked up Ryan's shoe. And his mom yelled at him when he got home, and he beat me up at school the next day. It's all here in this pamphlet. Kids, we just have to learn to accept this. Like one of those stories on Dateline where a family member suffers a horrible accident and becomes a burden on everybody. Sure, they pretend to be happy, but they're dead inside. They're dead. And that'll be our lives, hmm? What a big boneless jerk I am. I might have screwed up my life, but there's no reason I gotta keep screwing up theirs. Goodbye, cruel, bone-filled world. <laughs> oh, so this is where all the waste and sewage winds up. Cut and print. That's a wrap. Great job, Peter. Are you coming to the rap party tonight? Oh, gee, I, I don't know. I, I, I got a stand-up comedy class I'm taking at the Learning Annex. Well, actually, I, I won't be a stand-up comic. I'll, I'll be more like an amorphous blob comic. Oh, I gotta write that one down. Nonsense. I'll have the studio send a flatbed for you. See you at 8. Peter, there's something I've been wanting to say to you all evening. What's that, Mrs. Catherine Zeta-Jones Douglas? I want to jump your non-bones. Jeez, I, I can't believe I'm your type. Well, as you can tell from my husband, I've got a thing for saggy, shapeless men. I'm married to Catherine Zeta-Jones.
Bones, will you sleep with me? Oh, yeah, I I'm gonna have to pass. But uh, Louis Anderson's eating the decorative soaps in the bathroom. Why don't you try him? Excuse me, aren't you Peter, the human stunt bag? Well, that all depends on who's asking. I'm a doctor about to conduct an experimental procedure to give bones to a jellyfish. But I'd like to try it on a human first. Interested? Well, I don't know. Interested? Didn't you just say that? Yes. I'll do it! Well, Peter, the operation was a complete success. What are you going to do now? Well, the whole reason I had the operation was so I could go back to my family. But it's been so long. What if they don't love me anymore? Peter, where do you think all those bones came from? Surprise! Surprise! My God, you mean it's your bones that are inside me? Well, mostly. We picked up a drifter to fill in the torso. Well, like I always say, a family of freaks is better than no family at all. Let's go home. Y you know what's really weird? This was covered by my HMO. Hey, Terry, you dare me to pop a wheelie in this thing? Well, that doesn't sound safe at all, but okay, I dare you. <laughs> wow, that was great! Six, six bats! Seven, seven bats! Uh, 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 uh! Hey, is the count a vampire? What's that? Well, he's got those big fangs. Have, have, have you ever shown him doing somebody in and then feeding on him? You're... You're asking if they've ever done a Sesame Street in which the Count kills somebody and then sucks their blood for sustenance. Yeah. No, they've never done that. Everybody, come quick. There's something out in the yard. It looks like the back of a tanker truck. Wow. What do you think's inside? Maybe it's candy. Chris, no. Oh, 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 Lois, Lois. Let him dream. Uh, uh, ah! Ugh, what is this stuff? Yeah, it's some nuclear waste. Dear me, does anyone else feel a trifle queasy? <laughs> What? Do I have a boogie? <gasps> I say, it appears my cranium has doubled in size. <laughs> How delightful! This toxic stew seems to have given me telekinetic abilities. <laughs> hey, I can make fire! Hey, Chris, Chris, come here a second. <laughs> this, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay, on a count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> All right, everyone. Clearly something very strange has happened here. We each seem to have acquired superpowers from that nuclear waste. We've been given a gift. And whether that gift is Chris's fire conjuring, Stewie's telekinesis, Brian's super speed... Ask me how the Queen of England is. How's the Queen She's of... She's great. Peter's morphing ability. Hey, Lois, I'm a wishing troll. <laughs> My super strength... Or Meg's, um, super amazing ability to grow her fingernails. We have a responsibility to use these powers properly and not to abuse them for personal gain. Understand? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, no, I forgot the detergent. I excuse me, would you watch him for a moment? Sure thing, ma'am. Whoa there, little guy. You gotta pay for that. Go suck a railroad spike. I haven't got any money. Well then I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it away from you. Ah, 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 oh, God, please, help me! Ah. Move it, you slowpoke! The light's green! What does that cloud look like to you, honey? To me, it looks like... Rain! Ha! I used that joke at work today. I'm the funniest guy at the office. They say I should do stand-up. Ugh, this is insane! Oh my god, Dad, NSYNC is in town. If you can get me a lock of Justin's hair, I'll never ask you for shopping money again. Please! Well, we promised Lois we'd use our powers responsibly. But I suppose doing the exact opposite couldn't hurt. Hey, do you want to split a Toblerone? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think I do. Woo-woo! Next stop, my thighs. <laughs> 